You've heard of the Go Pink movement for breast cancer, but how about Go Blue? As a local cancer survivor has made it his mission to raise awareness of prostate cancer, which kills 33,000 American men each year. Gabe Canales, the founder of the nonprofit, joins us this morning with Minette Mutag Black, marketing director for Sun and Key Sports, who's also involved with the foundation. You know, there's a stereotype of older men are the only ones who really get prostate cancer. You don't look that old. You don't have any gray hair, but you're a survivor. I am. I was diagnosed at age 35 just a year and a half ago through an inadvertent PSA test. So I currently have it. I'm on active holistic surveillance. I monitor it quarterly with PSAs and annual biopsies. But it's something that, as you can see with me, anyone can get it. It knows, uh, doesn't discriminate with race, with age, with anything. Now, you've produced a special video, and it was done for last month's awareness of prostate cancer. You were encouraging people to go blue. To go Not blue. just wear blue, but speaking about blue. Tell speaking us about blue. that. Well, here's the problem. The problem with most men is that we don't really emote. We don't talk about our feelings. And a lot of prostate cancer survivors don't talk about their prostate cancer. Therefore, it has very low awareness, and it's underreported. It's underfunded. So it's important for men all across the country who are survivors, especially those that are high-profile survivors, to speak about that because that has a direct effect and a direct impact on whether Congress appropriates more funds for research, and, and it, it helps us get closer to actually getting to a cure. Now, you've got a run coming up to, yeah. to bring awareness to the situation, and I can only assume that Minette is going yeah. to be talking about that. Yeah. Um, it's perfect timing for those in Houston um, to get active, help raise awareness. Um, if you're training for the Houston Marathon, it's December 3rd. It's a 15K, which is kind of unheard of. It's a different type of run. Mm -hmm. It's 9.3 miles. So, if you're, you know, you're running the Houston Marathon, perfect timing for your training. But we've also incorporated um, a relay. So if you can't do 9.3, get two other friends, and you do a 5K, and your other two friends do a 5K. <clears throat> now, I want to find out something from you, because you mentioned PSA. Sure. But PSAs have been in the news recently yeah. because they're saying if you do the test and you follow some treatment, sometimes you're doing more harm to a person than actually helping save their life. Sure. Look, had I not had the PSA, I would not have been able to make my choices. I could have chosen not to do anything or I could have chosen to do something. I chose to do something, which is active holistic surveillance. Men need choices. Everyone deserves a choice. So if you can actually find that you have cancer, who wouldn't want to know that they have cancer and want to be able to uh, you know, have, have options in front of them? That's what the PSA allows men to do. It allows them to act on something. Now, not everyone who has an elevated PSA will uh, have a cancer, but still, it's the best thing that we have at this moment. Is it the greatest? It's not. We still need more research to go into better diagnostics, but it's what we have at this moment. And until we have something better, we need to stick with that for right now. Okay. Now, tell me the date of the run real quick. December 3rd. December 3rd. And in Katy. The Blue Cure is the beneficiary, which I'm very thankful to Sun and Ski Sports for allowing Blue Cure to be the beneficiary. Anyone can come out and do it. You can walk it. You can run it. It's for, it's for everyone. It's for awareness and also to save lives. To save lives. Gabe, thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You so thank much. you very much thank you. as well.